So now dear student, we are going to discuss for question number 2.1. In this question, it is given to you two charges 5 into 10 to the power minus 8 coulomb and minus 3 into 10 to the power minus 8 coulomb are located 16 centimeter apart. Clear? So let's suppose let's suppose I am taking here, let's suppose this is a line, clear? And this line is joining center to center of these two charges, clear? So let's suppose first charge, let's suppose it is placed at this point and value of this charge is given to you 5 into 10 to the power minus 8 coulomb, clear? And second charge is given to you, let's suppose this is Q2 and value of this charge is given minus 3 into 10 to the power minus 8 coulomb, clear? It is located at 16 centimeter apart, means we can see this distance is given, this is 16 centimeter, clear to everyone? Okay. At what point on the line joining the two charges is electric potential is zero, clear? So my dear student, you know what is electric potential, clear? Electric potential is defined as, let's suppose if we are bringing any test charge or a unit charge from infinity to a certain point, then work done per unit charge. This is known as electric potential at that point, clear? So one a reference is given to you, take the potential at infinity to be zero, clear? So first condition is given to you and we have to find the position of a point where electric potential is zero, clear? So let's suppose initially I am taking, initially I am taking here three points and let us try to understand at which point we can find electric potential is zero, clear? So let's suppose we are taking here three points, let's suppose first this is point P, let's suppose this point we have R and let's suppose this is S, clear? So we know electric potential is a scalar quantity, clear? So directly we can add magnitudes, clear? So if we find, if we write here electric potential due to a point charge. So electric potential due to a point charge, this is given by KQ by R, yes or no? Yes, and what is value of K? Value of K, this is given to you 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught and this is equal to 9 into 10 to the power 9, clear? Now what is unit? Unit we have, this is Newton meter square divided by Coulomb square. Clear to everyone? So, now, first our objective here is to find the position where we can, we can find electric potential is zero. Clear? So, now we can say electric potential, we can write like due to this positive charge and due to this negative charge. So, if we concentrate on a point P, we can write like this, potential at point P, it will be due to one, V1 plus V2, clear? We will find potential due to both the charges, clear? So let's suppose I am assuming this distance is X, so this distance we can write like this 16 minus X, clear to you? So we can write like this V1, V1 means what? Potential due to 1, so we can write like this K, Q1 upon and we can say distance is given to you X, clear? Here we can write like this K, Q2 divide by total distance we have 16 minus x, clear? So this is value of Vp, clear? Potential at point P, clear? Now, so can we find here potential 0? Listen carefully. We can say here Q2 is negative, yes? And definitely we can find a position where electric potential is 0. So we can write like this Vp equal to 0, clear? So we can say K, uh, K is common, we can write like this Q1, Q1 value is given to you 5 into 10 to the power minus 8, divide by, clear? This value is given X. Now, value of Q2, value of Q2 we have minus 3 into 10 to the power minus 8 and it is divided by 16 minus X, clear to you? And we can put this is equal to 0, clear? So from here we can write like this, 5 into 10 to the power minus 8 divided by x, this should be equal to 3 into 10 to the power minus 8 over 16 minus x, clear? Because we know k value, it cannot be 0. So definitely this bracket term will be 0, clear? So we can write like this, this one and this one cancel out. So from here we can say 16 minus x upon x, clear? And this should be equal to 3 by 5, clear? So now we can write like this. If we cross multiply, we can say 16 multiply 5, we have 80, 
80 minus 5x, clear? So, this is 5x, it is equal to, if we multiply x with 3, this is 3x, clear? From here, we can see 8x, this should be equal to 80. So, value of x, we are getting 10 centimeter, clear to you? It means, between, uh, between these two charges, the line joining, on the line joining, we can find that from the 10 centimeter from Q1 and from 6 centimeter from Q2, we are getting a point where electric potential is 0, clear? So, this is one position. So, one position we get here, the x value is 10 centimeter, clear to you? Yes. Now, if we concentrate on the rest of two points, <coughs> the point S and point R, clear? So, now can we find first logically at which point we can find electric potential 0. Now, listen carefully. Actually, we have formula KQ upon R, yes or no? Now, you can see, if we talk about Q1 and Q2, definite in terms of magnitude Q1 is greater, yes or no? This is a minus sign, no doubt. But if we talk about only magnitude, so Q1 is greater and distance from the Q1 is less, it means both the factors are increasing potential at point R due to Q1, yes or no? It means we can say here, we will not find potential 0 at point R. Clear? It means we can say to the left side of Q1, we will not find electric potential 0. Yes or no? Clear? Okay. So, now if we concentrate on, if we concentrate on point S, clear? At point S, you can see this magnitude is having a larger uh, distance from point S, clear? It means we can say magnitude is more, distance is also more. It means we can find, we may be find uh, Q by R ratio such that that electric potential it may be 0, yes. So, let us suppose if we talk about S, so we can say let us suppose I am taking this distance is x, clear. So, what is distance from Q2? We can say this is x minus 16 or we can say this is 16 minus x, clear. This is 16 minus x, clear everyone. So, now we can write like this. Vs, this should be equal to 0 and we can say this is kq1 upon x plus we can say kq2 upon 16 minus x, sorry, x minus 16, sorry, this is x minus 60, clear? So, we can write like this, this is x minus 60, clear to everyone? Now, we will put this is equal to 0, clear? So, now if we put all the values, how can we write? Yes. So, if we put here this value 0, we can say if we take k common value of q1, value of q1 we have 5 into 10 to the power minus 8, 5 into 10 to the power minus 8 divided by, we can say value x, so we can say this is x, clear? Here we can write plus q2, q2 value we have minus 3 into 10 to the power minus 8, so minus 3 into 10 to the power minus 8 and it is divided by we can see this is x minus 16. So, x minus 16 and this should be equal to 0, clear? So, from here we can say 5 into 10 to the power minus 8 divided by x, this should be equal to 3 into 10 to the power minus 8 upon x minus 16, clear? So, from here we can say this one and this one cancelled out, clear? So, we can write like this, x minus 16 upon x, this should be equal to 3 by 5. Clear? So, if we cross multiply, we can write like this, 5x minus 80, this should be equal to 3x. Clear? So, we can write like this, 2x, this is equal to 80. So, value of x, we have 40 centimeter. Clear to you? It means, in this question, we are getting two positions where electric potential may be 0. Number one position is at a distance 10 centimeter from Q1. And second position we are getting x equal to 40 centimeter from Q1. Clear to you? Yes. And if it say what is distance from Q2? So, 40 centimeter from here, we can say 40 minus 16, it means 24 centimeter from Q2. Clear? So, like this you can calculate positions where we can find electric potential 0. Clear?